Hi, uh, welcome to uh, week three of our class. Um, while most people are using Microsoft Word, I have gotten a few requests for how to do some of these things in OpenOffice. Uh, so, and I'm using OpenOffice 4. Um, this video is going to be shorter than the Word videos uh, because some of the stuff with, you know, automated themes and automated design for Word is obviously not available to us in OpenOffice. Uh, that's, you know, that's totally, totally fine. <laughs> um, so if you're looking at this, you can see the layout is, is a lot different from 2010 or 2013, which is what we're primarily using in class. Uh, and that's, um, again, that's totally, you know, it's, it's still good to know how to, um, how to do some of this, uh, how to do some of this stuff. One of the first formatting things I, we have, uh, this format um, section right here um, and uh, so I wanted to look a little bit at uh, paragraph formatting so right now um, as you can see all of my indents are zero and that means um, you know all of my every line is justified with with the margin um, so we can we can uh, tell um, we can uh, tell OpenOffice to, to indent. And so I had, so it just indented this one paragraph right here. You can see it's slightly off where this paragraph is right against the margin. And it only indented this one paragraph because I had my cursor there. Um, we could get it to indent more if uh, we went in here. Let's make it. So now these two paragraphs are indented. Just gonna undo that. Uh, we can also set it up. So I'm actually going to click at the top of the page. Um, and um, we're going to have, uh, we can just set it to automatically indent the first line of a paragraph, which is how you would, uh, that's fairly traditional. You've probably been taught to how to do that in your other classes. Um, now it's only again, doing it only for this paragraph, um, because that's where my cursor was. Um, if I wanted to apply it to the entire document, I just hit control a to select all paragraph automatic. And now it's automatic through the whole text. So remember with OpenOffice, you actually have to highlight all your, uh, all your text. Um, so those are the basics of indents. Uh, now in this OpenOffice, uh, this is all single spaced with an extra line between each paragraph. Uh, and I generally, I, uh, as I said, we don't really, I'm not having anyone double space in this class. Um, I'm not really into double spacing. It's, good for you know revising and editing it's not super design friendly but say we do want to adjust the spacing say that uh, single spacing is a little too tight for us so what can we do about that so we're going to go into this paragraph settings again um and so here's our here first we see our above paragraph and below paragraph spacing and that's this blank space here between these two paragraphs so there's a quarter inch below that inserts automatically below each paragraph and if you want to adjust that, let's make it point, um, let's make it point, uh, 0.15. So there's still a break, but it's a smaller break. So you can see now that the break between paragraphs is a little narrower. Um, but say that single spaced is, is just too thin for you. So it's currently, you know, at least there's um it's single space but there is so this is not true single spacing here this is at least 0.25 um so this is true single right here so see how compressed that is a lot of people don't like that um i you know i i personally like it a lot of people don't um here's 1.5 1.5 is the maximum um that you're allowed to use in this class I prefer, uh, but so if 1.5 is too big for you, but you don't like um, single, then there are these um, other options called proportional and at least and fixed. So let's do at least 
0.1. Now let's do 0.12. So it's still pretty thin, but there's still more space than if this was traditional single, single spacing. Let's up it to 0.2. That looks, that's a, there's definitely more space there than with traditional single spacing. So you can go and play around with those other uh, settings um, just to make sure you have the spacing that you want. Now, there are certain things you can do with uh, a page as well, like the whole page. Um, so one of the things, uh, so what I did was I went into format page. Um, and I'm in this, this tab came up because that's where I just was. Say I want a background color. Um, say I want my background to be this. So I'm in background. Um, you can actually, you could upload a graphic. We're going to do a color. Uh, we're going to make it pink. And now it's pink um, and it only does the stuff that goes within the margins it doesn't colorize you know the margins themselves uh, one thing I will comment to you about doing things like background colors is that less is more it can be really frustrating sometimes for readers to you know be reading on a, a pink page or a blue page or whatever so uh, be careful um, that's not always uh, useful um, just use it sparingly Uh, we'll talk about header and footer in a couple of weeks. Borders, that's another, uh, you can have a border around your page. Uh, let's go with, let's go with a thick border. Um, and let's do a default border. There, there's default, you can define your own. Um, they're pretty easy to insert and mess with. Um, again, borders, uh, those can be very nice. Uh, but again, just, you know, less is usually more. Keep it, keep it simple, a plain solid color is usually your best bet columns sometimes we want to have multiple uh, columns in our document um, they're pretty easy to do in open office i just went into this page page style window went into columns i would like a two column document so i'm going to set it at two and you can adjust your width and your spacing um, i for open office i prefer to go with auto width personally I'm going to hit OK. And now it's automatically, you know, given us a two column document. Um, um, I'm actually, I'm going to add a thin line in between the columns. I personally like that. And we're going to switch it to three just so you can see. Uh, it does that pretty easily. Uh, it's, it's very uh, easy to handle um, in OpenOffice. You can also, instead of going in through here, you can go into format and just click columns and a column only, you know, dialogue window will open. Uh, we're going to get into wrapping uh, text in, in a couple of weeks. Um, so, you know, um, the rest of this is, uh, has a lot more to do with um, wrapping text around images and we're not quite working with images just yet. So we will get to that. We're just not going to do it right now. Uh, one thing I also want to show you is, you know, I worked off this bar up here. Um, that's just sort of how I'm personally used to doing it. You can also go into this side column right here and play with your spacing and your indents in here. Uh, really, you know, uh, whatever uh, works best for you is, um, is okay. It's uh, just um, important to me that you uh, play around with it. So... Um, those are some of the uh, basics of, of uh, doing some formatting in OpenOffice, um, and I hope this works out for you. Have a good week.